Okay, loves, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post, be notified. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and I love you. With 10 subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. I also love you guys too. And before we get into this video, please tap the link I'm going to pin in the comment section to subscribe to my second channel, Exotic Tea Blog Reloaded. I'll be dropping a video on that channel today, so y'all shouldn't miss out. Go over there, subscribe, subscribe, wait for me, and I'm going to be dropping one there. Now, let's get into today's video. Staying up with Nicki Minaj, the queen of rap, and Diddy. So, Nicki Minaj has now unfollowed Diddy on Instagram, and fans are coming out to notice that Nicki unfollowed Diddy around the same time he was exposed by his ex-bodyguard, uh, who came out claiming um, Diddy and um, Mick Mill had some crazy ish going on in one of his Diddy's freak party and he had um record there and honestly speaking guys it was nasty I heard it and you can go on Twitter we can't put it on here because we are trying to um stay away from this whole copyright issue and also strike but yeah I heard it and it was nasty it was real 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 nasty do I think this is going to implicate Diddy's case more and more I definitely believe this was crazy this was crazy. Nikki been spilling the tea on McMill. Even if McMill came up on Twitter the other week, the other month, the other day, trying to deny that he ain't got nothing to do with this, he doesn't see Diddy that way. But fans came out noticing that he was out here calling Diddy Papi. But he came out denying. And in the video that was recorded on Diddy's door, you could hear Mick's voice. You're not going to call that AI. That was Milk's voice. And everybody being out here blasting him and he out here tweeting like he don't care about what's happening on the internet. But I mean, yeah, he's getting dragged. Diddy also getting dragged. This might as well implicate Diddy's case because he has been denied bail child This is crazy. And um things are coming out of notice that um Diddy is doing the most with the baby oil. Everybody being out here talking about the baby oil though. Everybody been out here talking about it. And this takes me back to Nikki tweet she put out two years ago when she said, You beat your own sister and taped in. Spit on her and taped in. Kicked me in the in front of your mother and sent her to the hospital. Sucking drinks mm, made you feel dove though. Move on. So let me know you feel about this down below in the comment. Nikki um been got the tea. And this is one thing about Nikki Minaj. She knows what's happening, but she's not going to say ish. She's not going to say ish. Even on a new interview, sorry, a new IG Lab Nikki did with um what do they call him? Soldier Boy on Instagram when she asked about, oh, do you know they've got undercovers brother in the industry? She was definitely talking about um Diddy and um what do they call him? McMill. She was talking about him. And when she did that live, people was like, Oh, what is Nikki talking about? But she was talking about them. Y'all should look at the live video. A lot of undercover brothers in the industry. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Queen. We don't know nothing about undercovers. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we don't know about that. Okay. Because uh, I do. So yeah, Nikki always got the T and this is what I'm going to say. I normally do not care about McMill and Diddy whole situation. But I mean with Nikki being included and Nikki coming out here to unfollow, um Diddy says a lot. She's just trying to clear herself out of the whole situation. And you know how some delusional people was trying to add Nicki Minaj to Diddy's con shit a few days ago. Came out saying, oh, well, Nicki once offended the Diddy party. Nicki did this, Nicki did that. I mean, y'all so dumb. But at the end of the day, I love the fact that Nicki has come out to unfollow Diddy. I so love the fact because we just cannot stand that man. And the baby oil shit is freaking me out too. 1,000 bottles, 365 days in a year, Diddy. Uh-uh. This is some freak-ish. This is some freak-ish. And y'all, if you want to see the video of Diddy and uh, Meek, just let me know down below. I'm going to drop the link. Moving on from there, now to um Nicki Minaj. So, it looks like Nicki successfully sold out all the shows she has done on the second leg. Nicki sold out 
the Pittsburgh show, Nikki sold out the Washington show, the New York show. Nikki been sell out all the shows she's done so far, even the last night show um at San Antonio. Nikki is sold out. So so far so good. Second leg is doing so good. Even if y'all came out saying, Oh, she's flopping, she's about to flop, she's this, she's there. And I'm gonna tell y'all something, even if she didn't sell it out the way she sold out for the first leg, because the first leg people was gagging to see her. Even now people still gagging to see her but i feel like the tickets been selling out a few hours before the tour starts you get many people be buying late hours ticket even when i went um for the second leg i got my ticket on that day i didn't get online because i was having some kind of um issues with my phone and the rest so i mean the tickets be selling out late night they be selling out when the tour is about to start you finna see crowd of people coming to buy those tickets so nikki is doing good on the second leg and y'all mad nikki also put out the sweet saying let me make this clear i'm not difficult i'm just about my penis i'm not into fake industry parties and fake agendas rock with people for how they make you feel not what they give you so let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment and this is um kind of relating with the whole dd situation and also um her advising her fans and also talking about herself because um um nikki says she's always minding her business and this is something about nikki minaj i mean y'all can come out and say oh nikki always likes the smoke nikki likes beefing nikki likes this nikki likes that but i've been looking at nikki minaj she be minding her business she really be minding her business she be minding her business all this rap flops be coming for nikki minaj and when she comes when she comes back at them y'all be like oh why is she responding to that but when the girls be sending shots y'all are not gonna say nothing y'all be like oh they ate nikki up she she just annihilated nikki minaj so i mean yeah nikki be minding her business and also the part she said i'm not into fake industry parties and and fake agendas definitely about how did this situation because y'all was coming out and say oh well she attended the diddy's party she did this she did that so y'all should stop it she didn't do nothing like that y'all just weird um let me know how you feel about this nikki sweet down below i still love nikki minaj because she's outspoken fans are still coming out here to drag megan the stallion i mean megan the flop because um her album on its 11th week she's now at 93 spot on the billboard hub 100 charts while they called pink friday to a flop on nikki's 11th week nikki was still at the number 30 spot so people are calling megan the stallion watashi wa flop 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 flop, flop. keep flopping keep flopping watashi wa flop <laughs> no that's crazy well yeah y'all came out saying the pagan album was better than pink friday too y'all saying she's doing age megan is the it girl she's doing it girl numbers pink friday 2 flopped pink friday 2 flopped girl pink friday 2 on its 11th week was number 30 megan is currently at number 93 she's dropping down the chart faster than Ever. So I mean the girls is flopping, the queen is still queening. No shade. Tasha K also came out here dragging Megan the Stallion Rock Nation and the BET Awards. Because y'all know Megan's got most nomination, which is weird. Her album flopped. She had a bad year. She sold. Um, she didn't sell out her tickets. She gave out tickets for free. And I mean she a terrible performer. But she got 12 BET nominations. The hip hop awards gave her 12 nominations, which I told y'all was flop. It was a scam, it was fraud delaying rock nation pay for that but um tasha k came out calling megan the stallion out and saying that nikki did nikki album out charted and also out told her megan stallion album but megan's getting um nominations like she the beyonce and britney spears of the hip-hop um for female rap which i actually agree with tasha k because how is this flop getting all these nominations she barely sold out her tour tickets let's get into that she barely sold out her tour tickets she did terribly on the charts she couldn't even sell 70k first week let's keep it a buck she couldn't sell 70k first week for that flop album they came out here acting like oh she deserved all the awards she ain't got no um she doesn't deserve no award she ain't got no hits on that album no shade she ain't got no hits on that album the megan pagan album flopped he flopped. Watashi wa flop. 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 She flopped. 
let's keep it a buck y'all be acting so slow and i saw um the comment section something was like oh y'all just mad megan stallion is winning she ain't winning nothing she's not winning nothing 2024 for megan stallion is another megan regular regular flop year no shade forget she got a hit number one she flopped this year girlie was out here giving the store tickets for free tell me what she's going gross that is why Rock Nation is still stalling with her um, total grossing number. Because they're trying so hard to fake those numbers. They're trying so hard to fake those numbers. The VMAs, viewership, they fake that too. They got them paid. They got paid to boost those numbers. So Megan is going to feel big headed. And at this point, they're trying to use Megan Stallion to replace every single thing Nicki Minaj, is do Nicki Minaj has done. And Nicki Minaj is doing is crazy because she's doing it wrongly. She's flopping. She's doing terribly at her job. Okay? She's doing terribly at her job. So I ride with Tasha K. Y'all should let me know if you feel about Tasha K dragging them. Moving on from there now to Glorilla. So Glorilla has like this new hat um, brand coming out or something like that. Or her match, yeah. So fans are coming to call her out because she's over sexualizing, like she's overdoing it. One fan tweeted, I don't know, but seeing you naked fuck leaks is making me lose interest in your music. So let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment. And trust me, there was a whole lot of hate following this picture of Glorilla. So what do y'all think about this? Let me know down below in the comment. What do y'all think? She linked up with Megan the Stallion. A no sexualizing person, she always doing clicks, she always being sexual, she always um talking about her Uchi and the rest. Same thing as Cardi B. Those are the people Glory have been rolling with. But when she got into the game, no, she wasn't like this. So she's highly influenced by Megan the Stallion throwing that ass a single person, a, a single place, a single thing she's doing. She, she's about to throw that ass like a single thing. Even the pre Pepsi commercial, the girl was ready to throw that ass. Because she doesn't know anything other than that. Uncultured Paola B. No shade. But yeah, Glow is getting called out by her fans. And they felt like she's being influenced by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Which I highly believe. Because Girly wasn't like this when she came into the game new. She wasn't like this. And if she continues being over-sexualized, I don't think she's going to stay, stay that long. Because her fans love her because of her deep man voice and the way she carries herself around. Not being sexual. No shade. Let's keep it a buck. But let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment. Now, let's get into um, Bungo's flopping um, nomination. Cardi B got nomination for Bungo's, which we discussed about yesterday, for best collaboration, which I found weird because Bungo's flopped and it was a trash song. No shade. She also got the nomination for best collaboration, Wanna Be Remix, and the rest. Uh i don't even know what to say about this nominations starting up with hip-hop video enough miami i mean i don't know about that category but enough miami was a trash song to me the video looks cheap but giving five dollars for the budget no shade that video was so cheap best collaboration best live performer did the industrial plastic by perform live this year i mean y'all should let me know down below in the comment lyrics of the year this is a boo -woo. this is a boo -woo for the bet awards uh-uh she don't deserve no lyrics of the year the girl barely wrote the song she claims she wrote flopped that is the rap for the non collaboration i barely even heard what she said on that song so i mean this is a boo -woo for the bet awards artist of the year definitely not hustle of the year uh, i can give her that this girl put out seven songs in 2024 and they all flopped she kept driving she kept driving she went on the shakira song went on the never lose me song went on the that money song went on the fridge song with Pelsa paloma they had two songs i mean girly she is a hustler she hustled nah we're gonna give her that she hustled but she flopped that is it she hustled and still flopped so i mean yeah she definitely deserves hustle of the year and best feature verse wanna be remixed that verse was trash y'all should stop moving on from there fans also believe jt was snubbed at the bet awards because they felt like her album city cinderella had good songs that deserves to be nominated yes i don't think jt um would have gotten nominated because she didn't chart like that but she had good songs hopefully she gets to perform let me know if you feel about this topic down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll talk to you on next video and i'll see you thanks for watching